So in terms of a press release, and I think probably a press release is we need to update that to media, media release, release in this day because, you know, the old press release is, <laughs> is pretty well done and dusted. Um, and I think for a lot of people it's like, oh, my God, you know, this is not what I do. I don't write. I find it hard. So um, here's some tips, and, and this is really any, you know, perhaps for your blog content, um, for media releases, for any content, uh, for any content really, you know, this, this, these sort of tips will, mm. will hopefully, but to, to make sure that, you know, you know, you're not wasting, you're not being verbose, but before you start, it's like any sort of writing, you know, ask you a question, you know, is this newsworthy? Is this, is what I'm writing about relevant? Is it worthwhile? Um, because often what might feel important to you is not particularly interesting to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, to you or to, to, to a journalist or a member of the public. And look, you know, we're all guilty of that, aren't we? Fascinated yeah. by ourselves and, you know, surely this is of massive interest. But be a bit hard on yourself, you know. What's that why, you know? Who, who cares? You know, mm. Why does anyone care? <laughs> and if it's just your mum, probably don't do it. No. Um, then what's the headline? Mm. You know, you think about this world and it's even on social media posts, it's anything. It's, you know, what's that... What's that headline that's going to stop somebody? And I, I think about the amount of scanning that I do on any given day, and I know everybody is pretty much the same. You know, a good headline works. A good headline is what's really going to get you to stop and click and go and have a look at it. So, and have you noticed in the paid? Um, you know how we've we've now transitioned into a lot of paid services for like Sydney Morning Herald or Canberra Times, for example. All you see now before it goes, you need to pay for the article, is the headline and the first line. Yeah, which means. They are critical. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And test test them, okay? So try to think of something that is engaging, perhaps witty, um, compelling, uh, you know, and write a few of them. Write a few. Has, again, it's like your A-B testing when you're creating, you know, your content for your mm-hmm. whatever. Um, same thing with, with media. You know, you want to try to stop the media. You want to stop the journalists and so they can engage with it as well. So make it, you know, short, short, sharp, compelling, punchy, to the point and try to tell, tell the story as best as you can or certainly to pique that interest. Um, in terms of the, uh, the, the release itself, um, understanding where it sort of starts and ends you know, and, and noting that, so is it, you know, this is the end of it, so to speak. So you can do this in a press release by using sort of bold front and typing of the world, you know, starts, ends, mm. um, make them centred for ease of reading. So in terms of when, when you're designing your, your particular release uh, and making sure that it's an easy read and the experience of, of consuming your content um, is good. Uh, just like when a journalist writes a story, your uh, blog or your media release should be exactly the same. Most important information first, try to still tell the story in the first sentence. Second most important bit of information because, again, you know, journalists, when they're editing these things, all sort of chop from the bottom up, you know. So get yeah. all your – get your good stuff in first. First para. Can't beat it. Mm-hmm. Use plain English, write with short sentences and short paragraphs, okay. Punch, punch, punch. Um, 